this the first papal visit to Australia. In our part of the world, there is a ferment of change, and the practical application of Christian principles can surely be the only final way to attain these ends. And so we welcome a visitor of your eminence and stature and spiritual influence, bringing to us that ideal which the world has never yet attained for long, and that is the message, peace on earth, goodwill towards men. It's an historic occasion at Sydney's St Mary's Cathedral as 4,000 members of Roman Catholic religious orders gather for a mass celebrated by the Holy Father. As His Holiness moves down the aisles of the vast cathedral, unprecedented applause greets him. This mass is the climax of the first day of the papal visit and reveals His Holiness clearly as the shepherd of his flock and spiritual leader of his people. Cardinal Gilroy welcomes the Holy Father to the cathedral before the mass begins. The Pope is hopeful that his visit will serve towards greater understanding among peoples and draw people together in the interests of peace in our time. In his opening message in Australia, the Pope said, To all the inhabitants of this continent, we express our friendship. We greet in a special way our brothers of the Christian churches. Like us, they turn their gaze towards Christ. To all, we wish peace. The peace of a conscience delivered from evil and the concord within families and among social groups. The next morning begins with a boat trip on Sydney Harbour aboard the launch Captain Philip. And once again, bright sunshine greets His Holiness. During the whole of his tour, the Pope has shown his great love for people and moved amongst the gathered crowds at every opportunity. Randwick Racecourse is the scene of one of the largest gatherings in Australia's history. A vast crowd estimated at almost a quarter of a million is present when the Holy Father celebrates the Bicentenary Commemorative Mass. A choir of 300 sing the Song of the Church specially composed for the occasion by choirmaster Richard Condon. nation. Let us pray to our Father in heaven that we may know how to build up our earthly city in justice and love. Australia welcomes His Holiness Pope Paul VI. 